Competitive Insurgency is 5v5 Firefight with a modified theater. This is not the same theater that is in the public Firefight servers. What is 5v5 Firefight? Well, if you are here, you should know a little bit about Firefight. But if you don't, Firefight is a one life to live with respawns control point mode. Each team starts off with one objective. The third objective is neutral. Every time you capture an objective, you respawn your teammates at the exact moment you capture. Three ways to win. Capture all three objectives, kill the entire enemy team, or hold two objectives uncontested when time runs out. One of the new features of Sandstorm and competitive firefight is overtime and draws. When the regulation time runs down to zero, you have one minute extra of overtime. When that one minute extra of overtime runs out, you will draw. If you draw, no team will be awarded any points. However, one round will be considered played. A little meta for you right off the get-go. When you cap an objective, you bring your teammates back right away. However, if there is a lot of time left in the round and your entire team is alive, you may want to save the capture for when one of your teammates dies or the round is close to ending. Keep the objective at 90%, stay nearby, and you have a free respawn for whenever someone dies. If the time is running out, however, you may want to cap. It is important to note that objectives do not decap on their own. If the enemy has capped the objective up 50%, you must decap it 50% before you can cap it into your favor. It is important to keep track of how many teammates of yours have died so you know when to cap so you can bring them back to life. Firefight and Insurgency is beautiful because there is a lot of strategy and game sense that comes into play. Wall bangs, pre-fires, and pre-nades, but most importantly are rotations. It is important to pay attention to what is happening on the entire map so you can predict what your opponent is going to do so you can rotate properly. Because Insurgency Sandstorm is much more open than Insurgency Source, it is important to know how to rotate properly so you're not shot while doing so. I have my tactical map bound to control, so it is easy for me to check the map. This allows me to see how many of my teammates are alive and where they are alive. I can then predict where the enemy is and what they will do next. It is important in Sandstorm to let your teammates know when you die, where you die, when you get a kill, and where you get a kill. When you die, you want to say, I'm down at location. That location will be a callout. You will learn callouts over time. Many of the callouts are online and on the DGL Discord in the callouts channel. These are map layouts with callouts on them. When you get a kill, usually people will call minus one, minus two, minus three, etc. At the very minimum, you should call out minus one at location. That way your team knows you got a kill and where you got a kill. To pug, there are a few requirements. You must have a microphone, you must speak English, and you must be willing to work as a team. This means you will have to do things that you don't necessarily want to do at times because it's out of your comfort zone. If you are new to competitive insurgency or just coming back, you should listen to your team captain. What works in a public server where people don't know what they are doing will usually not work in a pug. Most competitive players in Insurgency did not use optics because it obscured your vision and there was optic lag. In Sandstorm, however, the optics are not as bulky as they were in Source, so optics are a bit more viable for competitive. Pugs are very competitive, but also a great learning area. Everyone started off somewhere, so if you're an avid FPS gamer or someone fresh to competitive gaming, we welcome both of you as long as you're willing to learn and work as a team. So let's dive in. A pickup game is a private 5v5 match. When a multiple of 10 join the pug waiting room, team captains are selected or volunteered and teams are picked. People are moved to the appropriate channel and will be told what server to join. The match does not begin until all 10 people are in the server and a ready call is made. The server will be declared live on restart, and the round will be restarted, then the game is live. Sometimes you will play a pistol round to determine what side you will start on. In daily pugs, we don't always play a pistol round, but for matches and events, we do. Currently, 
Pickup games are five round halves. The server auto switches after five rounds. First team to six wins. A total of ten rounds are played. You can use any weapon available to you in the theater. All banned weapons are automatically removed so they are not available for you to select. After the pug, everyone joins the appropriate pug waiting channel and then another pug is started. If you miss the last game, please remain in the Miss Last Game channel so you're selected for the next game. If you join the Discord while a game is going on, please join the Missed Last Game channel so you're not skipped. No one should ever miss more than one game. They should always make it into the next game. Well, how do you join a server? Let me show you. To join a server in Sandstorm, hover your mouse over the Versus menu. You will see a Browse Server option appear at the bottom of your screen. Click Browse Servers and you will see a list of available servers. Our servers have an at symbol in front of their server name to find easily. Ask your team captain which server you are playing on. Pugs are competitive. Everybody here should want to win and everyone here should be committed to learning. If you are new, have no fear. Just ask questions and we will do our best to help you. A lot of us have been here for a long time and while we don't know everything, we do know some things. I hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Link. Take care. Be sure to check out discord.thedgl.com for 5v5 pickup games.